welcome today we are going to continue with CRE paper 2 revision 4 question 2 describe the feeding of the 5000 from Luke chapter 9 verse 10 to 17 Jesus took the 12 disciples and withdrew to a city called Bethsaida the crowd learned about his whereabouts and they followed him Jesus welcomed them and taught them about the kingdom of God and healed those who were sick. When evening approached, the disciples asked Jesus to send the crowd away so that they could they would lodge and find food to eat. However, Jesus asked the disciples to give the crowd something to eat. The disciples told Jesus that they only had five loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus asked the disciples to make the crowd sit in groups of 50 each. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up in heaven and blessed them. He brought the loaves and fish and gave them to the disciples to distribute to the crowd. They all ate and they were satisfied. The disciples collected the leftovers which filled 12 baskets. Question 2b, explain the teaching of Jesus on the qualities of true disciples as found in Luke chapter 6 verse 20 to 49. A true disciple should persevere in the face of persecution, should have unwavering faith in Jesus. A true disciple should love the enemies, should obey Jesus' teachings, should forgive others should be generous, should not judge, should show compassion. Question 2c. Outline the virtues Christians learn from the miracle of feeding the 5,000. Service, obedience, faith, humility, cooperation, thankfulness, carefulness, responsibility, kindness, and compassion. Question 3. Relate the parable of the sheep manager in Luke chapter 16, verse 1 to 13. A rich man had employed a man to manage his property. The rich man learned that the manager was mismanaging his property. He called the manager and asked him to give a complete account of his management. The rich man planned to sack the manager. The manager decided to make friends with some of the rich man's debtors to take care of him once he is sucked. He asked the data who owned 100 measures of oil to change it to 50. The data who owed 100 measures of weight was asked to change it to 80. The rich man commended him for his shrewdness. Jesus praised him not because of dishonesty, but because he acted promptly and wisely at the moment of crisis. Jesus also said that he who is faithful in very little is also faithful in much. He who is dishonest in very little is also dishonest in much. He said that no servant can serve two masters, for he will hate one and love the other. You cannot serve God and the mammon. Question 3b. Give several reasons why the disciples have found it difficult to believe that Jesus had resurrected. The message was first taken to them by women who were regarded lowly in the society. They had witnessed the helplessness of Jesus at the time of crucifixion, hence, and lost hope in him. They had witnessed the burial and could not imagine how the stone could roll away. They felt ashamed for having denied him or betrayed him and wished it was not true. They had not understood the teachings of Jesus which indicated that he would resurrect on the third day. It was a new experience that is, they had never seen. They lacked faith in the teaching of Christ. They expected a political messiah who could die with dignity and not resurrect. Question 3c. Identify the contribution of women in the church in Kenya today. 
women engage in preaching the gospel they clean the church women take care of their young children in the church they prepare meals for church leaders they act as ushers in the church women run income generating projects women sing in the church choir they organize seminars workshops in the church they guide and counsel members they are leaders in the church they participate in children leaders they give tithes and offering in the church they intercede for others question four eh? explain the unity of believers as expressed in the image of the bride in second corinthians chapter 11 verse 2 christians are the bride and jesus is the bridegroom christians are to be faithful to christ as the bride is faithful to the bridegroom the church is loved by christ as the bridegroom loves the bride the church must remain pure and holy through love and faith in Jesus just as the bride keeps her purity for her husband. The committed Christians will be taken to a new home that is heaven just as the bride is taken home of her husband. The union between Christ and the church will be everlasting just as the union between the bride and the bridegroom is permanent. Question 4b Identify eight fruits of the Holy Spirit as taught by St. Paul in Holy Church. Love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, faithfulness, goodness, kindness, self-control. Question 4c Outline six ways in which Christians can identify with those who are led by the Holy Spirit in the church today. By listening to their confession, or they should confess Christ. By analyzing the kind of doctrine they teach, whether it is centered on Christ. By examining their lives, whether they possess the fruit of the Holy Spirit. When a believer does not use the gift for selfish gain. When a Christian gives glory to God after performing a miracle. When a Christian leads people to repentance. By observing their way of life, they should not be led by the flesh. Question 5a, identify six sources of Christian ethics, human reason, the Bible, traditions from the Christian community, natural law, situational ethics, the constitution, African customs. Question 5b, Give seven reasons why Christians condemn homosexuality. It is a form of sexual immorality. It is a sin. It is an abuse to the sacredness of sex. It is contrary to the nature of things. Homosexuality does not enable procreation to take place. It lowers the dignity of human beings who are created in the image of God can lead to diseases like HIV AIDS can lead to human suffering may lead to psychological problems like depression leads to being an outcast question 5c Identify factors that contribute to unemployment in Kenya today. Some people have negative attitude towards work, so they just idle around. 
Bribery and corruption has made jobs for those who are qualified. New technological advancement has led to retrenchments. Many Kenyans prefer white collar jobs and because of stiff competition may remain unemployed. Selfishness where people have more than two jobs while others lack. Some people lack skills or they lack skills which make them not to be absorbed in the limited job opportunities. Lack of money to start individual businesses. High population whereby there are too many people for the available job opportunities. Question 6a. Explain Christian view on plastic surgery. Christians approve plastic surgery when it is used to restore or to improve deformities. It is not recommended for beauty since it's against God's design. It is like self-glorification that it is, thus it is discouraged. It challenges God who is the creator, so Christians are against it. Can lead to death, that's why Christians are against it. God is more interested in one soul than a beauty full body. It shows lack of appreciation of oneself. Question 6b. Give six reasons why Christians should donate blood. Donating blood is an act of mercy or love. Christians have a duty to preserve life. It is a way of emulating Jesus who shed his blood to save human beings. It is a way of helping those in need. Through blood donation, one is able to know his or blood group. The body is able to replace lost blood. It contributes to further medical research and improving human life. Question 6c. State seven effects of pollution to the environment in Kenya today. It has led to infectious diseases in human beings and animals. It has led to global warming. It has also led to destruction of the ozone layer. It has contributed to famine and drought. It has led to ecological imbalance, extinction of some animals. It has led to death of human beings and animals. Did you understand? Kindly let me know in the comment section below and what video I can look at tomorrow. Thanks a lot for subscribing and listening to me. God bless you.